the consideration for me is, because um, I had retired from Smith, I'd come back to Berkeley to retire, and I started to understand that my deep knowledge of the campus and my vision for what had to happen next put me in a place that was perhaps unique um, to move the campus forward. And what I said in my remarks before the Regents is, I think the most critical period in, in Berkeley's history since the free speech movement and all of the subsequent um, uh, political protests and conflicts in the 1960s. So it was really a, a sense that I saw what I could contribute. Most important priority for me is to, uh, um, is the quality of undergraduate education. You all know from your own lives, from the lives of your children, that um, it's a time when, when um, young men and women are becoming who they're going to be as adults. And one of the things I learned from my time at Smith is um, how, um, how you devote the right kinds of attention, care, teaching and safety nets for students so that every student has her best chance not to survive but to thrive. And so that is a very high priority for me. Student housing is an extremely high priority for me. It's so important to um, expand the capacity of our housing system so um, students can find affordable places to live. When students are really upset about their finances, it's usually not the tuition that they're worried about, it's what it costs to live in the Bay Area and the fact that we have so few places um, uh, in, um, in, in university-owned uh, dormitories and apartment houses uh, to put students up. And of course, um, maintaining and even increasing the quality of our faculty every single day in my office. Um, I work with the Vice Provost on recruitments and retentions. The quality of a faculty is the quality of a university. The University of California in general um, used to be funded very, very generously by the state in a large number of distinct funding streams each of which had its own algorithm, and each of which was um, designated for a specific purpose. Um, since then, not only is state funding less than it used to be, I mean, though still very substantial, but less than it used to be, but it's given to the campus in basically two big block grants. Um, there's tuition dollars, and then there's the state allocation. So all dollars are green, and all the campuses have to think about diverse revenue sources. There is um, a wonderful statement that I heard. Um, this was actually in a conference on finances of liberal arts colleges. Um, uh, you can't uh, cut your way to heaven, but you can spend your way to hell. And um, that, for me, I've always interpreted that as how important it is to identify and increase um, uh, sources of revenue.